Hello Sherry, this is Mark out here in my Virtualosa studio in Orange, Orange County, California. It's good to be home and uh, I see my weather here is a little better than the weather in Perth. So I've got your notes, I looked at the videos, and I definitely have some ideas I, on why some of these issues are cropping up on you. Especially the sliding a little bit left, your hand coming over the top of the ball, uh, not feeling your legs underneath you. I can see where all that's happening. So the easiest way to address it, let's get right to the videos. Okay, Sherry, here I have you queued up in the back. Let's go ahead and play this at full speed. And I can see those issues you're talking about with the knee bend and your hand not being able to stay behind the ball. As you can see, where it really happens is right here starts out good. Swing comes back. See how your hand's behind it there? See your pivot step kind of, this one's kind of straight, but the other one here, if I take it from the back, it's a little better video of it. Right there. Your hand comes back, but your step goes to the right. And as you see, on you start your downswing, there's body part in the way of the ball coming down. So what has to happen is your hand has to go outside of it right there. So your hand was behind it here. I can see your fingers right there. You're in the middle. Then right there, you're on the outside of it. So that's really what happens. So that happens there. So this is all done in your footwork. Let's go ahead and get back to the start and look at your footwork. So what we have to do is we start it. First step's good. Second step goes to the right, but the real culprit is, the second step needs to get straighter. The real culprit here is your third step. So see it's on 22 board, it's gonna end up about 19. It gets inside, you see your heel, here's 20 right there. So your third step goes in. That makes your fourth step go right, right here. There it goes right, then your body, then the ball and your body, the body's in the way of your downswing, your hand goes around it. So let's reverse this all back. So what I want you to work on, there's your first step. I want a little straighter second step. It doesn't need to be a big crossover. I just want it to go straight from here in underneath your head. Not to the right. So you got the nice in to out move here. I just want it directly under your head. The key is your third step has to go a little bit more left. So your pivot step has somewhere to go. See, if your pivot step to go under your head or inside your head, you would have to cross back in front of your third step. That's not gonna work. So we gotta get this step to see how it's going off to the right. I need the step to be inside. So when you get to the top of your swing, there's no body part in the way down. Also, when your pivot step goes to the right like this, what you'll know, Sherry, is you drift, you slide about four to five left of your pivot step. So how's that affecting it? See where your toes are over here and your slides over here? When your slide goes left of your pivot step, your hips overturn, that brings your right shoulder in front. You'll see here at release. There you go. Now your right shoulder has gotten quite a bit farther in front of your left shoulder. And so your breastplate will be facing the two pin. You're probably aiming at 7-8 board at 45 feet, but your upper body is not facing there. So what happens when your upper body closes and your eyes are trying to throw a ball there? Hand comes over the top. So you've got more than one thing working against you. I would say it's your second step and your four steps go to the right. Your slide goes left and your shoulder goes forward. That's the easy way to describe it. And you're getting your hand to turn later because there's really only two places to turn to bowling ball. Before your heel or at the end of your toe. Obviously, you want the end of your toe. So if we look at this again, let it play here. What we really want to work on is getting the second step to go straighter. See how it kind of bends out to the right a little bit? But the key is to get your third step to go straighter or actually feel like it's a little, little more left. And that'll allow your pivot step to drop in. If your pivot step drops in and you slide straighter, your right shoulder won't go forward as much and you won't turn the ball as early. I can definitely see your issues from there. And that's what I want you to work on. I want you to work on your footwork first. First step straight, second step a little one in, third step straight, feeling left to give your pivot step somewhere to go inside. That way you can slide straight. You get to the foul line, your right shoulder won't be in front of your left shoulder. Now from other things, let's look at the side view. Okay, Sherry, here I have you queued up from the side. Let's go ahead and play it. Let me click on there, there we go. I just noticed a deceleration that fallen off. Let's watch this right here. First step's excellent. 
Second step's excellent. So you're balancing your first three steps really good. See how your head matches your foot there? What happens is when you step right, you kind of stand up. And when you stand up, see now you're sliding left. So your timing isn't bad. It's not a timing issue. If you look at it, your timing's good. But look where your hand is right here and there. See how your right shoulder gets in front? That's what brings that hand forward. See, now your hand's kind of over-rotated. Now your right shoulder's got in front of your left. But more importantly, when you get done, see, there's quite a bit of body in front of your left knee. When that happens, the next thing that has to happen is you have to step off to the right. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it in full speed. So your balance in your first couple steps is excellent. See how you decelerate right through there a little bit? That slowed down the video here. Everybody's video reacts a little different. So what I think is you do, you just, it's all in your footwork from the back because I don't want to touch your, your, your timing at all from the side. It's just your footwork's in the way. See, look how your pivot step and your head match perfect. Then if you keep going here, oh, got a little bit past it, right there. So your timing's not far off, but because your slide goes left, that straightens your legs out. So I think all the problems are in your footwork. Your timing's not bad, but when you slide left and this right shoulder goes forward, you're taking your back leg out of play. You're, when you slide away from it, it's hard to push your back leg forward and get that good pop out of your hand. Because what happens here is you've gotten so far in front of it here, I just don't think, I think your fingers have actually rotated in front of your thumb. And you save it a little bit, but that's why you fall off to the right too. So I really think in looking at it, if we go back to just looking at your footwork from the back. There we go. Let's go ahead and play this. You'll see again, it goes to the right. You try to get it there, and then that hand goes on the out, and your elbow goes around it. See, this one's pretty good. Whoop, that's your video there. Again, it's just in your footwork. So let me just play this at full speed. There you go. So I see how that second step, you guys, that's why I wanted to stop on this one. This second step in your head are not even close. See how far right your second step has gotten from your head? I think that's the biggest issue. So let's do a quick recap. I really just want to focus on your footwork first because your timing isn't far off. Let's do a quick recap. Okay, Sherry, so a quick recap. We really got to work on the footwork from the back. Remember, first step's good. Second step could be a little straighter under your head. The key to this whole thing is this third step. We have to get that third step to go either straighter or actually go a little bit left. When you first start working on this, it's not going to feel very well. We got to get that third step to go straight or a little bit left because we have to create room for your pivot step to go under your head more or slightly inside your head. If I can do that, then your slide can straighten out. If we do that, then there'll be a slot for your ball to come off the top of your swing without having to go around your uh, your hips. And also, you yeah, do that. Also, your shoulder won't go forward at release. When you slide left and that shoulder goes forward, that also brings that thumb in front and makes your release not the release you want, especially on a 50-foot flat pattern. So again, the timing from the side looked pretty good. Your balance looked good. I just think your steps bounce right and second and four, then your slide goes left, and that plays havoc with your release trying to stay behind the ball. Because once you slide left, shoulders over rotate, so now your breastplate's facing the two pin, and you're trying to throw it at seven, eight. All that can happen is your hand has to go over the top. If I get that right shoulder not to go in front, remember, keep your head on top of your knee at release. Don't let that head go too far forward. If you keep that head back, that shoulder will stay back. You can have a more consistent release and hit your target much better. Sherry, really enjoyed your videos. I'll talk to you real soon.